One day, the owner of a storage unit in 2011 noticed something peculiar within the structure. Intrigued, he decided to drill into the unit, recording the entire process and sharing it on his YouTube channel, Cyrex 686. Inside, he found two unusual round objects that demanded further investigation. In the video, he remarked, I noticed that there were these things down here, circular, whatever. Curiosity led him to hammer one of the objects, and to his surprise, it sounded hollow. Eager to explore further, he proceeded to drill into it, revealing a startling discovery. The drilling revealed a hollow wooden compartment behind the wall, which popped out along with his drill. Cyrex 686 exclaimed, it actually turns out that entirely behind this wall here is another like secret passage or something. Intrigued, he contemplated entering the newly revealed space. The building in question was originally a 100-year-old industrial property, which had undergone multiple modifications over the years to meet the requirements of its various owners. The hidden compartment appeared to have been sealed off in the 1980s, adding an air of mystery to the discovery. Cyrex 686 was not the owner of the building, and thus, he had no authorization to drill into its walls. Despite the potential risks, he was determined to uncover the secrets hidden behind the wall. With the help of some friends, they removed the plug, revealing what lay beyond. After much anticipation, Cyrex 686 finally entered the room, leaving both him and his friends stunned by what they found inside. The video generated a buzz of speculation and theories among viewers about the room's purpose. One comment humorously suggested using a hole in the wall as a hiding spot for games of hide and seek. Others proposed more sinister uses for the room, such as a torture chamber or a site for satanic rituals. However, the true nature of the room remained a mystery. Some comments played on the idea that Cyrex 686 friends might play a prank on him by sealing him inside the room. Others explored bizarre and outlandish theories, such as the room being used for unconventional purposes. One theory that gained traction was that the room had been used as a hidden hydroponic cannabis grow room, complete with a ventilation system and hydroponic watering setup. This theory seemed more plausible to some viewers than the earlier ideas of torture or fetish-related activities. The commenter, Pool Voice DX12, even suggested that the wooden structure in the room with a rope was used to lower lights to plant level, implying a pulley system for lighting. This led to further speculation about the room potentially being connected to illegal drug cultivation. Despite various theories and speculations, Cyrex 686 later clarified that it was not related to any illegal activities, leaving viewers to wonder about the true purpose of this enigmatic room. Perplexed by the room's mysterious nature, people found themselves unable to pinpoint its true purpose. Previous theories, ranging from illicit activities to unconventional uses, had all been debunked. Despite some guesses coming close, the room's exact function remained elusive. Cyrex 686, having explored the room firsthand and inspected it in the video, decided to offer his own theory on the matter. Given his unique perspective, his judgment was considered credible. He proposed, I think it was for liquid chemical storage. There are hookups on the outside next to the rail spur line used to supply the factory that was here before. It was important to remember that the building had originally served as a 100-year-old industrial property before being repurposed for commercial industrial units. Therefore, it was plausible that the room had been used for storage at some point. Several commenters supported this theory. However, rather than storing waste or chemicals, it was more likely a component of a water harvesting system. In order for rainwater to enter the cistern, a network of gutters and downspouts would need to be configured to channel water from the roof directly into the storage area. Typically, cisterns were constructed underground or, in this case, within a concealed room. The cistern discovered by Cyrex 686 could potentially be restored and put to practical use once more. While Cyrex 686 chose not to undertake repairs on the cistern for obvious reasons, he also couldn't leave the room in its current state. 
he decided to make some alterations to the space and shared this information with his YouTube community. Responding to a commenter, he mentioned, it's been a few years since I made this video. I found another secret room next to the original secret room. I was thinking of showing what I've done with the room since then. In the secret passageway, I found, which I've not gotten into yet, but found the entrance. 